This is an x-ray of a normal and healthy human hand. Let's get closer and dedicate some time to study the wrist. And there they are, our eight little bones arranged in careful disposition and shape. And yes, they do have an unbelievable amount of influence in piano playing, because of what they do and because of what they are. Rest assured that their design is nothing but the work of millions of years of independent evolutionary pathways. As we saw in previous videos, these bones are organized in columns that serve as axial support for each finger when playing a keyboard. Now, let's view these carpal bones from a distal point of view. The observed tunnel is made of a strong arch, including the structural components of a man-made, strong and enduring arch. Does the pianist viewer recall any resemblance with this shape? Indeed, the curvature of the knuckles and the tip of the fingers is determined by this carpal tunnel a phenomenon that will have a profound implication in our piano playing. Chopin's piano sketches read The long fingers will be placed on top of the same line on the high keys, while the short fingers will do the same on the white keys. Nonetheless, Learning to play the piano by using the flat surface of a C major key may never allow for the correct shape of the hand. Moreover, it may never allow for the idea of what a correct configuration is. Children usually begin piano lessons when they are between 6 to 8 years old. But when observing children's development of the hand structure, a few things will call the attention of the viewer. Children younger than 14 years old are still developing their carpal bone structure, which of course doesn't mean that they shouldn't learn to play piano. But a pressing question that comes from this observation is whether learning to play the piano intensively in C major has any effect in the proper formation of the knuckle arch, and therefore of the carpal arch. Let's advance in our journey from the wrist to the metacarpals, where we will find additional structures that define the piano hand. Please pay close attention to the articular distal face of the carpal bones and observe the surface of each articulation. The carpal metacarpal joint differs depending on the metacarpal, with metacarpals 2 and 3 having the most restricted articulation in terms of mobility. This restriction is kept at knuckles 2 and 3, which are always fixed together, serving as a landmark for stability while practicing piano. In contrast, carpal metacarpal articulation of fingers 4 and 5 have more of a concave surface which gives them more mobility. And for pianists, the possibility of passing fingers 3 and 4 over the 5th, and the passing of finger 1 under the 4th or even the 5th finger.